Welcome to your audience students and scholars here I am Dr. Ramjad Ali in this video we will learn how to download and arrange time series data from the from the World Bank World Development Indicator WDI Dear scholars as we know that the main function of the World Bank is to provide financial assistance to the developing as well as developed country but here we are not discussing uh, the main function roles and the duties of uh, of the world bank here our main concern is how can we download uh, different types of data from the world bank and then arrange that data for the time series especially for the time series empirical analysis Okay, data bank is an analysis and visualization tool that contain collection of time series data on a variety of topics. You can create your own queries, generate table charts and maps and easily save, embed and share that uh, information which you have uh, compiled. For the uh, for the downloading data from the World Bank, you have to uh, type in your Internet uh, Explorer or whatever uh, the browser you are using. Uh, type databank.worldbank.org. Let's see. We type uh, databank.worldbank.org in our uh, browser and and press. Uh, enter or press OK, whatever you uh, uh, you are uh, uh, using for uh, for the searching in Internet Explorer or, or browser. So here you can see that uh, there are uh, uh, different databases are available in uh, in the website of uh, World Bank. That I, like we have a world development indicator statistical capacity indicator education statistic all indicator gender statistic uh, health nutrition and population statistic and you see that uh, the world bank uh, uh, website have a different languages as well and here the new uh, uh, whatever the new data is available has been uh, uh, highlighted here and here you see that different popular uh, indicator which is uh, which are extensively downloaded from the uh, World Bank uh, website are highlighted here so here we are uh, uh, downloading data from the wor uh, World Development Indicator that's the WDI so click on the WDI so we have to wait for uh, uh, for the internet to work because uh, uh, it, it is a very heavy website and we take a few minutes or a few seconds uh, uh, so so that's why I suggest you to uh, 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 use a, um, a highly speed uh, network uh, internet while downloading data from uh, world development indicator so see here we have uh, here we have a databases um, country series time so first start from uh, from the country you can uh, uh, you can download the uh, panel data as well from uh, from the uh, from the WDI or from the World Bank uh, website but uh, here uh, we have only concern with the time series data so when you click on the country there uh, the, uh, here uh, we see the list of the country but here uh, I am only focusing on to downloading the data of Pakistan so from from this list uh, we will select a country and uh, from the series uh, uh, from the series we will uh, here we want to uh, download the data of the Pakistan so click on P and we check on P so country has been selected so now we click on series so there are a uh, uh, number of series are available and uh, mm, and you can select uh, series which you want to check the impact or relationship whatever the model you are uh, you are uh, uh, checking the empirical relationship of that model but uh, I suggest you to download the 
all series because sometime we only download some series but uh, at the analysis time we have to use some control variable and we have to use some other uh, moderating and mediating variable so we again go to the website and then download the data so that's why I suggest you to download the whole, uh, all series um, available series and then you select on the time so I suggest you to, to check on the whole time so that uh, uh, you can uh, select as maximum number of observation as uh, as available for the empirical analysis so when you uh, check on the time then uh, click on apply changes and you have to wait for the apply changes and then uh, uh, apply changes will be uh, completed then you have a uh, here download options so in the download options you have uh, uh, different options are available on which file uh, actually you want to download the data so here uh, we have a uh, uh, see here we have a excel csv or uh, tab t xt different types of data uh, downloading options are available so we have to click on Excel so when you click on the Excel the downloading process will be start so for the easiness I have uh, downloaded the data and uh, when you download the data and then you open uh, the Excel file the data look like that so see here uh, the data started from 1960 to till 2020 so the data is available till 2020 so here you have to decide what indicators uh, uh, what variables uh, you uh, you are uh, using for your model so so, so you have uh, uh, if uh, when you click on this uh, this will be a com uh, comprise when you open it so that's why you are uh, double click then you will see this uh, complete name of the series and here we have a data in a um, in a horizontal shape and we need a data in a normally vertical shape in excel for for taking that data into e in into e views so here you see that uh, there are uh, there are some variable which have a missing observations and some uh, variables have a uh, data from 1960 so see here some variables have a 1960 data from and some variables are uh, uh, missing value missing observation so uh, depending upon the model you have let's say you have a, you want to take the data of let's say let's say you want to take the data of uh, uh, foreign direct investment so when you copy foreign direct investment data from here and then open another work worksheet for your uh, for uh, for the copy and paste of purpose and for the arrangement of the data because if you use the same uh, file and uh, here create a new uh, sh uh, uh, sheet for for your uh, data arrangement then uh, 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 I suggest you to use another uh, other uh, work file because uh, uh, there uh, may be an extensive sheet will be created so that extensive sheet, uh, sheet will will uh, uh, will make you a difficult to understand which sheet is a final so that's why I suggest you to arrange uh, uh, another sheet for your uh, data arrangement let's see uh, we are searching for the FDI data so control F so here you have to type the foreign direct investment press enter sometime we feel uh, control F Sometimes this type of error will be place 
because we cannot find a complete name of that variable so that's why I only write on foreign direct because investment here uh, is uh, you can see that is linked with a comma so that's why we cannot find a foreign direct investment uh, with comma so we have to uh, use some little name for the uh, variable as well so from here uh, we copy uh, foreign direct investment inflow uh, like uh, current inflow net depending upon the choice if your supervisor of your so I think not net uh, is a percentage GDP is normally selected so that's why we copy this data and when you take the, this data into the other worksheet so we right click and click on the transpose so our, uh, we know that our data is starting from 1960 1961 so select the board here and then press double click and then the whole years have been written automatically so if you want to select another variable data like we are taking the uh, forest area not the forest area is um, uh, I want to take some more data like yeah here we have a fossil fuel energy consumption data so like that so copy and then come to the other worksheet and then right click transport and when you transpose your data the data will look like that see here we have a foreign direct investment and inflation wave data and see here foreign direct investment data is missing from 1960 to 1969 but for the time series analysis we have our data in a in a complete uh, in a complete sense like that uh, uh, all the variable have our data range same so that's why if we uh, uh, delete 1962 like that or if if uh, your supervisor says that uh, you can take the data from 1980 so remove the other years and uh, for the time series analysis like the complete year data of both variables so here we uh, if uh, uh, on, on the suggestions of our supervisor we have selected uh, the data from here uh, here we have well, mistake here uh, we have a uh, data from 1980 to 2013 so for the time series analysis we have normally arranged data like that because in time series analysis we cannot afford a missing values so uh, this is the way to download and arrange time series data from the World Bank databases. So see you with another video. Ciao.